Hi, my name is Bob Grinier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I have this sample here from Bin Chuen Huang from his 9th of August 2021 uh, VCS 5RT, I think that says, uh, experiment. And this scale was removed um, on, it would appear, that same day, so maybe when it was shut down. And this sample was given to me on the 29th of December 2023 uh, in Taiwan. And it's a whole bunch of material in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer some of this in here so I can have an open top and in a couple of days do some alpha, beta, gamma um, assessment on it. But I actually want to keep some of this in this bag so it's not contaminated uh, in any way uh, other than uh, from sampling. Um, and I want to uh, put a magnet on it and see if it, it is able to be affected by a magnet, i.e. there's magnetic components in there. And um, uh, we're going to do that in a minute, but I don't want to magnetize all of the material in there. Uh, so I want to transfer some into here before I put a magnet on it. Okay, so we're going to do that now, hopefully. Sometimes the bags can be a little bit fiddly. I'm getting there, honest. Honest. Okay. All right. So, it's when it goes all horribly wrong. And the reason I've got it in plastic is because plastic is just hydrogen and carbon. And uh, hydrogen, you can't see under an EDS. And carbon. Is uh, likely to be in there because we already know it gets synthesized. So I put a bunch of that in there, and that means I can do some alpha assessment on that. And I've got some left in the bag here. So just to look at that, it looks like so. And we're going to have a much uh, more detailed look at that under the Nerugo, the microscope, and under um, the Laura on the Sony Alpha. But for now, we're going to get this little sample bag here and see if any of those components are magnetic anyway. We're going to seal this one up, put that to one side so it doesn't get affected by the magnet. And I'm going to start probably with a, a little neodymium cube magnet so it's not so strong. So here is my little neodymium cube magnet. We'll see if any of this gets affected. Oh, I can immediately see there's some stuff moving around. Okay, immediately. Okay. Now, <laughs> all right, this is interesting. So, wow. Now, the thing is, whilst a lot of the piping in the system is um, copper, I think the initiation of the heat generation system is actually... Um, using uh, steel, the actual injector where the multi-phase injection is going in. And so if there's cavitation at that point, it could be extracting some steel. But wouldn't it be absolutely incredible if some of this material has iron-rich crenellated microspheres? Incredible or not? I don't know. Right, I'm going get, to get a big boy magnet on this and we'll see what happens. So here's an ND52. And uh, we'll put it over the uh, white stuff and we'll see what happens. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there that is clearly magnetic. Now, are these the magnetic core of fractal vortex solitons? I don't know, but what I will do is I will extract some of these in another video and we will have a look at them under the microscope. But clearly there are a lot of material in there. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit more what's going on. Look at that. That is a lot of material in there that is attracted to the magnet. So thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.